There's so many things in GTA Online that we just do without even realizing that we do them. These are the rules that every player abides by but doesn't even know it. These are something I like to call the unwritten rules of Grand Theft Auto Online. If any of these are relatable, leave a thumbs up. Let's go. Number one, thou shall not bump in races. You know who you are. If you do this, you are the most hated person in that entire race. There's an unwritten understanding amongst races that you're not gonna go out of your way to screw someone over. If you bump each other coincidentally, sure, but you're not gonna go out of your way to ruin the race for someone else. If you are that guy, don't expect to make many friends in races. Rule number two, if a friend helps you with a cell mission, you have to help them back. Okay, we all know how boring the cell missions in Grand Theft Auto Online can be. If someone is nice enough to take time out of their day to help you complete yours safely, the least you can do is help them back. This is something that you normally don't even mention it's just something that's understood by players rule number three if you complete the majority of the setups for a heist you deserve a higher cut i think it's happened to every single one of us when we help someone to set up their entire heist and then someone joins on the finale and gets the same cut as you like no dude i was here for an hour helping this guy set up and get this done i deserve a bit more money than you who just wants to join and cash in at the end thou shall not grief random players this is a common understanding amongst 95% of players, I would say, but there's always that one guy in the lobby that wants to blow up your cargo. If they're not blowing up your cargo, they're coming around and just griefing you while you're driving around, and there's a reason no one likes those players. It's because most of us understand the unwritten rule of playing peacefully. Always kill the casino valet before you go into the casino. I don't really know how this became a rule, but it just did. Ever since the casino came out, people just killed this guy every single time we went into the casino. It's hilarious. I like to see how many different ways I can kill him each time. But in reality, we should probably just leave this guy alone. He's just trying to do his job. If you're doing your MC cell missions and you get the post-op delivery vent, you are required to have a negative reaction to it. Whether that's dropping an F-bomb as loud as you possibly can, finding a new lobby, or just raging, all of those are acceptable and necessary. Never buy something one or two days before a weekly reset. The amount of comments I get on my videos where people are complaining that they bought this property and then the next day it went on discount, never buy anything on a Wednesday. That's, that's a pretty clear unreal rule it might be discounted the very next day if you want a successful heist never ever play it with randoms playing a heist with random people is not impossible right like you might get it done but it's gonna take you hours and hours and hours especially if it's one of the initial five heists and you're playing it with low-level players if you're a really nice person and you want to help them out a shout out to you but if you're expecting a successful heist don't do this if you want to start a car meet expect all of your cars to be blown up car meets are cool they can be a lot of fun but you just have to expect that there's going to be one person that comes in with an rpg a sticky bomb or a jet who knows but one thing you know for sure is those cars are not making it out of there alive when you're driving on the highway you need to drive over every single one of these yellow things if you don't at least try to do this i think there's something wrong with you there's something so satisfying about the sound and the vibration of the controller whenever you drive over these things this is an unwritten rule that i'm sure everyone follows if you're in a public lobby trust no one you have to be under the assumption that everyone will kill you if they get close enough it's a nice idea to think that people are just gonna help you out and be nice but this is Grand Theft Auto Online come back to reality they're probably just gonna shoot you in the face if someone is driving around in a Fagio, they are to be respected. Do not ever shoot that person. This $5,000 scooter is one of the most respected vehicles in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. If someone has the balls to drive this around, they deserve their peace. If someone's following you on your sale mission, but they're not blowing you up, they're actually trying to help you. A lot of people react and try and kill anyone that's following them, and I understand it. It's a very, very big risk if you don't, but a lot of players actually make a habit out of protecting people who are doing their cell missions so chances are you're gonna be better off by letting them
them protect you instead of killing them, which would make them angry, and then they're probably just gonna blow you up. If someone's following you, they probably could have already killed you, so just let them help you out. Thou shall grind Kaio Perico until the next update. We don't know what future updates will bring, but for now, Kaio Perico is the best way to make money in the game, and it's not even close. Anyone who is a money grinder knows that this is the best way to get money, and this is almost the only way that a lot of people use. If there's a jet in your lobby, the entire lobby works together to take it out. Chances are, if there is a jet in your lobby, they've already killed a handful of players. And it's kind of an unwritten rule for everyone in that lobby to team up and try and kill them, whether it's with explosive sniper bullets, whether it's with another jet, or you're trying your luck with an oppressor mark too, good luck. This thing is a team effort, and I think everyone understands that. Following up, the next rule, don't start a fight if you can't finish it. A lot of the times when I'm just minding my own business, people come out of their way to kill me, and then I actually start fighting back. Maybe it gets to 3-1, and then they get upset and just leave. Don't start a fight if you don't expect the other player to fight back. Thou must own an apartment in Eclipse Towers. Back when the game launched in 2013, the Eclipse Towers was the most expensive property in the game. So anyone who's been playing the game for a substantial amount of time owns one of these apartments for sure. And even now, the penthouse for the Eclipse Towers is the most expensive apartment in the game. So good chance most players own this and it's expected that you do if you're a veteran. If you're a teenager, chrome is one of the best colors for your car, it's pretty cool. If you're not, then it's kind of lame. It's crazy because this is so true for me. Back when I started playing, when I was a teenager, I used to make all of my cars chrome and now I'm just sick of it. Clothing colors never match. Stop trying. Sending a mugger to anyone, especially a friend, is never not funny. Even though they only take a little bit of money, like nothing that's really gonna make a difference, just seeing a mugger come up and knock your friend to the ground is one of the funniest things in the game and you can't convince me otherwise. Griefing is definitely frowned upon, but if you have a bounty on you, you're free game. You cannot be mad if someone comes out of their way to kill you if you have a bounty on you. That's money. Don't wait outside LS Customs to grief players who just customize a new car. Griefing in general is lame, but this in particular, come on man, the community understands that if someone has a new car, just let them enjoy it. Don't spam mission invites. If you've invited someone twice and they aren't joining, dude, they're not joining. Stop blowing up their phone. They don't want to play with you. This is one of the main reasons people don't actually join missions anymore because people just spam them. No one wants to play with you, bro. If you're wondering if you still have a parachute, you probably don't. Operating under this assumption will save your life a fair bit, I'm going to be honest. If you're driving or flying around with a vehicle that has homing missiles on, turn off the tracking while you're just flying around. This will scare the life out of players if they just hear the beep, beep, beep as they're just driving around minding their own business. It's also pretty annoying if you're the pilot as well, just having your missiles lock on to everything. Just turn them off until you actually need them. If you're joining a randoms heist finale, never ask for more than 20%. This is kind of similar to one of the rules earlier, and if someone's done the hard work to set up a heist and get to the finale, respect that. Let them have their money. You only deserve 20%. You're just here to help out at the end and get money. Always expect at least one player in any lobby to have god mode. Now, Nowadays, there are so many god mode glitches, Rockstar just can't patch them all, and it takes them ages to do it. So you should always expect at least one person to be in god mode. If you're in a bad sport lobby, you should expect everyone to be in god mode. Really a simple rule that should apply to everyone in GTA Online, don't fire unless fired upon. Well, you should expect that there's a chance everyone is ready to kill you, don't be the guy that shoots first, because if you are, you're just getting yourself into a battle that you probably don't want in the first place, and it's not gonna end well. Having a high KD does not get you any friends or sexual partners. I know a lot of people think that if you've got, you know, a three, four KD, even higher, that it's really, really cool, and people look at you and respect you more. Trust me, they don't. Like, like they really don't. It, it's the, op like, trust me, dude they don't. Before Rockstar changed the KD system, I made sure I got mine to 0.69 just for the meme, and it's gonna stay like that forever. If there's a low level struggling, if it's with a cell mission, a mission, or anything, try to help them out. You were there once, a new player to GTA Online, and you didn't know what the heck was going on, and that's exactly what that person is experiencing now. If they ask you for help, or you can see them struggling, help them out, be a good person. If you try to fight a god mode player, expect that 
they're going to tell you how good they are. They're also likely going to tell you that they're a lot better than you, that you suck at the game, and that they slept with your mother. Don't worry that the other person is literally cheating. <laughs> you just suck, kid. One zero L's get good. If you are one of the people who happens to be a modder on PC, first of all, why? But if you are one of those players, don't go griefing people with it. It's not cool, and trust me, it's actually a lot cooler if you're the guy that helps people out instead of the one that ruins it for everyone. If you ever pick up a lovely lady from the street, make sure you get your money back once you're done. I don't think I need to elaborate on what that means. I think we all understand it, and we all abide by that rule already. When you're doing a street race, always hit the person that does the countdown. If you're the person at the front of the race, this is your duty. Do not mess it up. Right as you're about to cross the finish line, always pull the handbrake and do a spin right across the line. I don't know why we do this. It's not like we saw someone else do it and thought, yeah, I should do that too. It's just something that is naturally ingrained in us. It's something we just naturally do. It's strange. When you're riding passenger in someone else's car, never change the radio without their permission. I cannot explain how annoying it is just when you want to listen to Mike Posner cooler than me and someone else changes it or even worse, they turn it off. Don't do this. If you get honked at by another player, honk back. It's sort of a friendly greeting and one of the only ways to tell if someone is peaceful. When you spawn back into the lobby with friends after a heist, always start a fist fight. And don't pull out a gun. Don't be that guy. This is definitely an unwritten rule amongst friends, and I think all of us have done this at some point. Following up on not pulling out a gun, if it's snowing and you're starting a snowball fight with someone, don't pull out a gun then either. Really just in any fist fight in general, just don't pull out a gun. If you're trying to drive somewhere quickly, expect NPCs to go out of their way to ram into you. We've all experienced this, some random driver that just goes completely out of their way, it makes no sense, and they cut us off, they ram into us, whatever. But even though we know it's gonna happen, it doesn't make it any less annoying. Next rule, open mics get bounties. Okay, if you're that guy that's screaming into the mic, you're playing music, I really hope you're not that guy playing music, that's very annoying. If you're the one breathing into the mic, if you have a fan blowing into your mic, expect to get a bounty on you. If you're doing a business battle and there's enough for everyone, just take it and leave it. There are some business battles where there's not enough stock for everyone and then PvP is fair game, but if there's one where there's heaps and heaps of loot for everyone, just take yours and leave. Following up on one of the earlier rules, if you want a vehicle to go on sale next week, buy it full price today, because likely it's going to go on sale right after you bought it. And to finish off the video, one of the most important unwritten rules, if one of your friends tries to drive your car without your permission, continue to throw them out over and over until they get the message. If you want to pull a power move and stamp a bit more authority down, Wait until they get in normally, then drive at top speed and boot them out of the car into oncoming traffic. That's a really good way to show them who's boss. And those are the unwritten rules of Grand Theft Auto Online. If I missed any, if there's other ones that you think would be good in a part two, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Boys.